What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick of the Miami Heat versus Chicago Bulls NBA matchup going down Friday, April 19th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Miami Heat and and the Chicago Bulls, the Miami Heat coming into this one as the 8th seed. They lost the 7-8 matchup, 105-104 against the Philadelphia 76ers, despite having a sizable lead in the first half. But a lot of that probably was because of Jimmy Butler's knee injury. It's coming out now that he's going to have an MRI to determine the severity of it. It is looking like he's going to be missing multiple weeks with that MCL injury, taking a knee on knee uh, with uh, Kelly Oubre in the first, at the end of the first quarter of that uh of that 7-8 that matchup. Um, the Chicago Bulls, on the other hand, knocked off the Atlanta Hawks in the 9-10 matchup, 131-116. And now can can taste the playoffs and taste you know, a first-round matchup with the uh, with the Boston Celtics. We'll have to see how this, uh, this matchup shakes out because it's going to be interesting to see what the Miami Heat do with no Jimmy Butler. Um, you know, and also with... Um, with no Terry Rozier as well. He's out indefinitely still dealing with his neck issue. When you just look at the whole injury list for the uh, for the Miami Heat in this game, you know, Duncan Robinson, um, he's probable for this game. But again, he was supposed to be probable and good to go for the uh, the Wednesday match. We didn't really see him. It was, it was all heavily, you know, laid on to uh, onto Tyler, Tyler Hero. And, you know, if he goes, if he gets back in the lineup, Duncan Robinson, it's going to give the Miami Heat some, uh, some definite punch from behind the arc. But, Again, I'll believe it when I see it with Duncan Robinson. Now, the Chicago Bulls, you know, you look at their uh, injury situation. They've got a bunch of guys listed and a bunch of guys listed as questionable. And I want to be able to see who's going to play here. Guys like Io DeSumo, Andre Drummond, Alex Caruso are all questionable. Julian Phillips is still out. Um, but, you know, I just I go back and forth looking at this matchup. And I just can't help but think that we're going to see a similar matchup. Uh, to what we've seen in each of the last three meetings. That is a high-scoring affair here. I think 205.5 is just a bit of an overreaction to you know what is expected from Miami Heat playoff basketball. And granted, it took a late three from Tyler Hero to help us cash the over in that last Heat matchup. But you look at the last three games between these two teams, all of them flew over the total. You know, you had totals that were similarly set, totals even of 210, 213, and the most recent one of 219.5. Granted, all these came in November and December of 2023, but 205.5 just seems a bit too low for me. I think Miami loses some defensive grit without Jimmy Butler. I mean, he had four steals in that first half before he left because of the injury. When you take that away, a lot of that defensive grit and defensive you know, mentality kind of leaves and you know, we saw the Chicago Bulls put up 131 in the Hawks. Maybe that's because it was the Atlanta Hawks. Or maybe there's something here for the Chicago Bulls where their offense can step it up. I mean, the Bulls were putting up some nice point totals down the stretch. And I think they can at least do enough here to, you know, get this one up and over. Maybe even to high two, 200s, maybe even into the 210s. And like I said, it wouldn't surprise me if the Miami Heat put up a decent number as well. I mean, this is a Miami Heat team that shot 39 threes in that, uh, in that game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Only shot 36%. We know this Miami Heat team is a much better three-point shooting team than that. Tyler Hero is a lot better than 4 of 14 from behind the arc. I think this is just going to be a higher scoring matchup here. I, I understand why it's as low as it is. You know, you expect defense, especially in a, in a winner go, uh, go home matchup like this. But I'm going to roll with the over 205.5. I think it's just too far gone here. So give me the over, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.